Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, today we'll do a mid-month reading for the mid-month of November. And for some of you might be a mid-month reading, for others of you might be a weekend reading, or even for others of you might be a new moon reading. As you know, this weekend, as we are going towards, we have a new moon in Scorpio, which brings a lot of changes, a lot of energies might feel skeptic, you know, Plutonian energy. But let's see here how this works for you, loves, and how the energy plays for you at this time of the month. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for all Aries, stronger energies. Whatever predictions are coming through here and whatever energy I can pick up between a love, career, money, family or anything else in between. Let's hear loves an overall energy and how this plays for you. How this affects benefits or in between we have full energy here taking a leap of faith towards something here there's a situation here you might leave at this time or you might feel like well that's not my business to be there yes loves because I feel here the fool is you Moving on from uh, an unstable energy. Whatever that energy is, I see you getting over it. Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yes, in a very short time this is movement. Yes, you distant yourself from a situation you you thought will change. You thought that person will change and will offer you something here wherever they promised. Empress, Page of Swords, and Four of Cups. That could be also a situation here which that person was involved with other energies other people could be even somebody here who've been married you might found out you've been through some searching some detective mode here and i feel here as you found out here are some things whatever this person still offering you it's quite not for you that's what you feel it strongly so that's why you are Distant yourself, moving forward. For some of you, you, you might have been waiting here for quite a lot. And you didn't really know why this person acts this way. Why there's so many delays. But now I feel here when you do a research, when you're looking more for more information, now you see... There is something else. Yeah. Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Empress is number three. Four of Cups. There's unrequired love. You might deal here Aries with an air sign or a Taurus. Okay. And I feel here if when you found whatever it is about this person, I see disappointed. And I don't feel here as much this Three of Swords in a hurt way, but disappointed way. It's like they could be more mature to tell me whatever was going on than just to hide it. Yeah? Or communicate proper or better with me. Let's see here. Seven of Swords. Hermit. Magician. The thing is telling me here, yeah, this person might be in a marriage. 
that's the thing here Taurus Virgo energy here but most likely they felt very lonely in their marriage and these are cards of I am single and I'm manifesting something here to to soothe whatever I have because there are three major arcanas here somebody here felt very much lonely in their marriage in their commitment with whoever they've been and they thought they they will find soothing somewhere else let's see three of swords was the disappointment here why you are disappointed here queen of cups nine of pentacles and seven of cups and underneath we have ace of swords the truth anyway is out and you Aries I feel here you might have some worry in the chart but it shows me here like there's definitely here you've been kind of confused like what in the earth you've done this you knew that I give you my love for some of you you are a single parent in here and you didn't have time for games here but I feel here you are very outspoken here yeah you left this connection this person is not over you believe it or not Four of Cups, speak to me in here. Knight of Swords. Two of Cups. But the fact here is this person might need help, whatever they are. They might be lonely in a commitment, but they are here to tell you that they will separate, they are divorcing or with who they are leaving, you know, from outside may look a great marriage, but inside is not. Because that person may live in the same place with the person who they are, but I don't see them living like a normal life, whatever they are. And they might even tell you that they do care for you. But that confuses you more. It's like, what? You are with somebody and you are not? How that works? Because I see you single at this time, Aries. For the Aries I'm talking at this time is dealing here with this person in some sort of commitment. They might not be married but they are in some sort of commitment and you Aries you might feel like well I don't I don't I don't care where you are what you say I'm out and this person might backfire you with this knight of swords again Libra Gemini Libra strongly here facing and earth energy you care more water but let's see here a full energy what you're speaking in here king of cups if you are not the one who i'm looking for i'm out because i'm looking for something stable here and that will come to me here because i feel here you aries not looking for games and whatever you go healing is needed also it's good that you identify this third party from the first because spirit says taking a leap of faith forward will move you actually towards your person okay and for some of you you might move 
on from an earth sign with air or air sign with earth flip that toward a water sign or could be towards somebody who will be very loving very emotional very good to you but at this time you you are a little puzzled here with this number seven of cups and as we see here Aries for you we do have seven of cups seven of pentacles and seven of swords seven of wands is missing which is all about stand up for what you truly believe it's yours and keep that as much as possible nine of cups this is what i'm looking for you could enough for me it's somebody here may even say well this person might even come and confess well i love you and you know i will offer you things you just need to wait and you may feel like well love is not enough and just the promises i need something real and this is something real what i'm looking for my ten of pentacles and here we are loves yeah Aries, this is what I got for you for this mid-month energies. I hope it resonates and bring you some insights of clarity, of course. And I want to thank each of you who are joining the channel, joining this beautiful family, this spiritual family. Many blessings and see you next time. Namaste.